Willie Treader, aged 18. Occupation, unemployed. Some say he is unemployable. He is at the moment on probation. Sometimes, like, I, I, I think, um, I, I'd like to be like someone important, you know, like respected and that. Like, um, Albert Schweitzer or uh, Screaming Lord Satch or something, you know, like that type of thing. But, um, most of the time, I think I'd rather hang about. <laughs> This is the street where Willie lives with his parents. Significantly, perhaps, Willie's room is in the basement. My grand, she like, um, thinks we'll get married, you know. And then, um, well, I've got this girl, you know. Uh, well, I've got her a ring, you know. It's, it's lovely, like, you know, it's all like gold plated and it's um, got a place to put a stone and everything. And, um, like, it's the accommodation, isn't it, you know? I mean, like, she couldn't, like, live here because there's no room and, um, we couldn't, like, go and live with her parents because, um, they're living with theirs. <laughs> and now, like, I'm, I'm on the probation. How did it all start? Where did Willie go wrong? As I was saying, Chile is down here, Venezuela, and, of course, Brazil a little more over there. Not far off. Oh, well done. Quite a great time, off you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Willie Treader, yes. Well, he wasn't the sort of child you really could, could grow fond of, you know. He knew far too many vulgar songs, for one thing. Some of them were quite disgraceful. Where he got hold of them, I, I'll never know. You mean he actually sang them in your presence? No, he whistled them. <laughs> and another thing, he, he kept taking things that didn't belong to him. He was always doing this. And then one day, I, I realized why he did this. He was a thief. <laughs> I thought he might have grown out of it, but I do believe the youth club leader had mm, the same trouble. No, no, I disagree entirely. <laughs> I think that society must take its own share of the blame. I, do, I think the whole moral structure of this country today is far too laxative. <laughs> Along the side of the escalator at London's Piccadilly Circus Underground, there are no fewer than 17 different illustrated advertisements for ladies' corsets and lingerie. 17? 17, yes, I counted them. <laughs> pictures like that could turn a young man's head. But surely the escalator travels so quickly that one only sees these pictures for a second or two. Uh, I disagree entirely, I disagree. If you go down the one that's coming up, or up the one that's going down, you can look at these disgraceful advertisements for quite a long time. Mind you, it makes you unpopular with the other passengers, but it can be done. I'm sure. I've done it several times. I've heard of it being done several times. Honestly, I think parents today should keep a tighter rein on their children. I do, really. But, um, like, since he's joined the probation, I mean, like, no one would come to his Christmas party, nor nothing. I mean, it's, um, like, it's only that the vicar and the doctor come here now. So it's just like, like, we, we was cut off. As he gone yet? Do what, Brian? Has the vicar gone yet? Yes, he's gone, dear, and it wasn't the vicar. It was doctor. Oh, I thought he was a bit familiar for the vicar. <laughs> um, up the probation, the psychiatrist up there said he couldn't help it, see? He, like a psychopath. <laughs> it, it's these old ladies, um, because he hates his father, you see. That's why he does it, because he hates his father. Yeah, but why doesn't he hit his father? His father kill him. <laughs> he's six foot four. Yeah, I think it's up to the probation. Willie Treader came under your care on June the 17th, didn't he? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's July the 15th. I remember it quite well, because that was the day I was asked to join the local council. We need people like you, said the Lady Maris. People who really care about the youth of this town. What sort of a person is he? Who? Lee <laughs> Treader. Oh, yes, right. But I myself, I turned to the Lady Maris and I said, of course I care about the youth of this town. I said, I was a juvenile delinquent myself once. <laughs> but I stopped it. How, said she? I grew up, said I. <laughs> and this, the Lady Maris, who's rather on the plump side, fairly shook with laughter. Well, they must be quite a handful. Juvenile <laughs> delinquents always are. He's not a jubilant delinquent. He's just like a high-spirited, that's all. His foreman thought differently. I want workers here, not picnics, you know. 
he, he comes in here wearing that dirty t-shirt and them open neck trousers. And when he gets here, he doesn't do any work. He's bent up his time in. Are you going to be in there all day? I mean, it's not as if he's reading the rating results. Of all the 97 jobs Willie has had since he left school, none has lasted more than a few days. about that television of it. He watches everything that's on. <laughs> he doesn't he, um, on a television? Because, I mean, like, um, if, say, like you're, you're watching um, something like, 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 like The Saint, or, or No Hiding Place, or um, or Panorama, I mean, you know it's not real, don't you? I mean, like, you know it's only, like, made up, innit? It's all, like, made up, you know what I mean? It, it, it's not the harm it does now, it's what it can lead to. I mean, what happens when a boy gets his hands on Mariana? Who? Not who, what, Mary Anna. You know what I mean, Reavers. I mean, he, he, he lights one up just for kicks, and the next thing you know, he's a smoked addict. A smoke addict. And then no one can help him. Here then is Willie Treader, a lonely, misunderstood young man, perhaps more to be pitied than blamed. Let us not condemn his displays of youthful high spirits, for that is what they are, simply youthful high spirits. Perhaps it would be well if, at this Christmas time, we showed people like Willie a little more understanding, a little more tolerance, a little more... Hey! That's my car! You little thief! Police! Police! Come back here! 